just outside Philadelphia at the Delaware Valley Fish Company in Norristown, a new shipment has arrived, wriggling, slithering, sliming its way into the world market. We do about a million pounds a year. And Barry Crockman could not be happier. I'm a third generation eeler or sniggler. A sniggler? A sniggler. That's, you can actually find on a crossword puzzle if you want to know what, what an eeler is. <laughs> Although never popular with many Americans, eels are enjoyed on tables throughout Asia and Europe, considered delicacies, whether served raw, baked, boiled, or fried. Love it. Tastes like chicken. Well, what you're looking at here is the eel holding system. And that has created a kind of appreciation all along the east coast of the United States, where the eel trade helps support hundreds of fishing families and 30 employees in this company alone. For most of the year, eels caught wild in waters from Florida to Newfoundland pour into this site to be sorted, graded, packed, and sent live overseas. Scientists are concerned about what appears to be declining numbers of eels along the coast, and so are the people in the business of catching them. There's habitat pressure. They're, they built dams over the years. So as we harvest these eels, everybody wants to make sure that it's sustainable. After all, Crockman says, he's been up to his elbows in eels his whole life. In fact, uh, you know, when I sort a lot of eels and you go to sleep, you start to see eels in your sleep. That, that, that vision of eel just penetrates your that's, brain and stays that's there. Creepy. That's yeah, creepy. That is a little creepy. It's also the business that, even in these tough times, is sustaining his family and many others on their American journey. Tom Foreman, CNN, Norristown, Pennsylvania.